Gary, an Oklahoma businessman is warning of a bizarre computer crime tonight. While we all have heard of identity theft, what about someone stealing your website? News 9's Dana Hurtnick is looking into what happened. It's new at 10. Dana? Amanda, what exactly happened is still a mystery, but longtime Oklahoma City businessman Jimmy Paris says now when you log on to his former business site, parislimos.com, you get a site for a company in Paris, France. On January 8th, this was the website for Oklahoma-based Paris Limos at www.parislimos.com. On January 9th, this is what popped up at parislimos.com, what appears to be a website for a limo company in Paris, France. We get a call from a customer saying, we're trying to locate parislimos.com and to send us to Paris, France. We're going, what? And that's when Paris Limos owner Jimmy Paris realized someone had seemingly hijacked his website. It was just overwhelming shock. We're going, how in the world can somebody have taken their internet site just like that? And that's what Jimmy and his attorneys are trying to figure out. Last summer, web records have waived media technologies and Edmund Company as the registrant or owner of the domain name. Wave Media hosts Paris's site, but the owner tells us he never had control over his domain name. In fact, he says he doesn't know who owns the name. He just took over Paris's account from reddirt.com when they went out of business. And in July, the registrant parislimos.com switched to an Arizona company named Domains by Proxy. Paris suspects someone sold his site out from under him. However, when we emailed the address on the new parislimos.com, we got this response. I'm sorry, but our company don't know anything about parislimo.com. In the meantime, Jimmy says this whole thing has put his whole business in park. A lot of people wonder if we went out of business, if, you know, what in the world happened? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a scary event. I mean, it's, you know, for your family, for your business, and all the people associated with you, it, it hurts. Again, Jimmy's attorney says they are working to figure out exactly what happened. In the meantime, Jimmy says you can find his company at parislimos.net. Amanda? All right, Dana. A big lesson here for all of us. Jimmy never actually owned his domain name. Web experts say you should always keep that domain name registered to you, not to the web host.